Well, let's move on. Let's go to a thin client type of a computer. Let's log off my Windows 7 computer. Now, this is a thin client computer. We're going to log on as user, not log on as Jeff, but log on as user. And we can see this is running Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PC. We're going to launch an application in the security context of Jeff, not the security context of user. This is a remote desktop services application. You can see here, I'm logged on in the security context of user, but the application is running from the server giving me access to my data. So here's my optimized desktop document that we've been working on on Windows XP, Windows 7, and now Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PC. I manage my data as a service with presentation virtualization. I manage my application deployment as a service with presentation virtualization. I can even run an application like Office Communicator on my thin client computer because it's server-based application. So, oh, I got a message from Eduardo. Hey, Jeff. No. Hey, Eduardo. How you doing? Well, you know, I really don't want to talk to Eduardo right now. I'm in the middle of a demo. So, goodbye, Eduardo. So, printer. Now, I can print to a local printer uh, through terminal services, or I could say, no, everyone in this area, I'm going to have the terminal server dictate who the printer deployment is going to go to. So this is a great solution for a task worker. Well, let's log off this application, because remember, we're just in an application. Sometimes we need more than an application. We need an entire desktop. So I'm going to launch a, terminal, a remote desktop connection into a terminal server uh, farm. So let's log on as Jeff, and then here is my desktop. Now immediately this looks different. I have my optimized desktop document on my desktop. I have access to my applications. Office 2003 is there. Office 2007 is there. Adobe is there. I have access to my applications and my data is there. The data followed me from XP to Windows 7 to WinFlip uh, remote application to WinFlip uh, remote desktop. This is the optimized desktop. This is a great solution. All of these are great solutions, but this solution is great for a task worker who runs just a few applications, uh, and they need either just the applications or a desktop. Well, sometimes I need access to my applications from home. So here's my home computer. I'm going to log into Winver right there. I'm at a Windows 7 Ultimate machine. This is me. This is me, and that's me. There's no programs on here. I haven't even installed any programs. I'm logged on as home user Jeff. My data is right there under my home user account. But I still need occasional access to corporate applications and data. There's my Canon inkjet printer. Well, how am I going to gain access to corporate applications and data? I'm going to go to a website. I'm going to go to a secure website. Now, this is not HTTPS. I didn't set it up for this particular scenario, but in a normal deployment, it would be. So remember, I'm logged on as home user Jeff, but I'm going to connect back to my data center through Demo Jeff. Okay, so I've logged on as Demo Jeff, and I, that enables me to have access to my corporate applications and data. So here is through remote desktop services, through secure internet protocols, I was able to launch Word as Contoso Jeff, not as home user Jeff, that gave me secure access to my data, secure access to my applications, and I can print to my local printer through through this policy because maybe it says well it's Jeff and he's coming in from his home machine I'll let him print to that because Jeff's like a, ta a task worker there's nothing not a lot of intellectual property around that environment but sometimes I need more than just an application I need an entire desktop again here's a terminal server desktop or remote desktop services I have Office 2003 Office 2007 I have that icon on my desktop and I have my data 
My data is coming to me as a service. My applications are delivered and deployed to me as a service with rapid deployment with AppV and PresV, presentation virtualization. There's my data. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's move my family vacation bitmap to my desktop. We'll see that a little bit later. Let's launch my document. This is the same document we worked under XP, Windows 7, Windows Fundamental for Legacy PC. I'm at home. I have secure access to operating systems, applications, and data. And yes, I can still print under this operating system to my local printer. Well, maybe I'm a developer and I, or someone with higher security and I need full control over this desktop. Terminal services or remote desktop services in a lockdown environment. So maybe I'm writing code. I need to reboot the computer. I need you know higher level of access. So I'm going to go to the Contoso VDI website. I'm going to log under the security context of Jeff and put in my password. And I can use a smart card, things like that. And it says, here's my desktop. It's going to say, Jeff's logging in. We've prepared a desktop just for Jeff. I'm going to put in my username and password, or I could put in my smart card. And it's going to provision a computer just for me. Now, this is my VDI environment. Look, but look, at instantly, I have my family vacation bitmap that I just moved around on a different operating system. I have my access to my applications and my data. Let's go ahead and open up my documents and open up this document that we've been working on. My applications and my data has been following me from Windows XP to Windows 7 to Windows Fundamental for Legacy PC to Home. It's been following me because I've, I've configured this as a service for Jeff. And securely access printers? Well, in this instance, I don't want Jeff to be able to print to his home machine because maybe he's a developer, a contract worker working for me, and I don't want to lose that intellectual property. This is a great solution for emergency, emergency access and work from home and a contract worker. This is the optimized desktop access to my applications and my data, secure access to my applications and my data from any device, from anywhere. This is the optimized desktop. Thank you very much.